it's TC here. Got a problem with the Lupo, it's a 1.416 valve. Driving it last week started to splutter quite badly, so I'm um, going to take a look at it and see what the problem is. Okay, so there it is running really badly. The engine's rocking quite a lot. And inside, I've got a check engine light flashing, so I'm just going to wire up the OBD2 and see what it says. Okay, so the OBD2, I've just wired it in, plugged it in. It's telling me there's a misfire, PO302, uh, sorry, PO301. It's telling me there's a misfire on cylinder number one, so I'm hoping it's a spark plug or a lead. So let's have a look at that. Okay, I'm just going to take the top cover off. Um, there's one, two, three, four Allen keys to be remove, uh, bolts to be removed with an Allen key. You, know, you don't need to take all of these out. It's just that one, that one, that one, and that one. Undo the two screws there, take off the pipe, and remove all this to get into here. Okay. Okay, just taking the cover off. Uh, it's a second bolt in each one. This one was the longer one because it's got this on it. Okay, so you need to make sure your longer bolt goes back into there. It's got coil packs fitted. It doesn't have an actual separate coil like old ones and then leads. It doesn't have spark plug leads as such. Each individual plug is underneath there with what's called a coil pack put on top of it. So I'm just going to pull those off. These just lift up. I'll just undo these and lift out the coil pack. Okay, there's the coil pack, just lift it out, there it is, just lever it up slightly and lift him out. Um, what I'm going to do now is with the, excuse me, just going to put in my spark plug tester, really cheap, three or four pound in an auto shop. What it does, if spark plug goes in that end, lead in the other end, and then it will flash if there's a spark and that will help you to pinpoint the problem whether it's a spark plug playing up or lead. So I'm just going to plug that in and start her up. Okay, it's standing up because spark plug tester is in underneath it and the coil packs now clipped in on the top. So I'm just going to start it up and see if we get a flash. Okay, there should be a flash appearing in here. There's no flash. So that's telling me that either the wiring or the coil pack has packed up. So I'm going to now put the spark plug tester on the other one and see if we get a spark. Okay, I've put the spark plug tester in the other spark lead and as you can see in there, you can see it very clearly, there's a spark. So that now tells me either this wiring is playing up or the coil packs. I'm just going to swap the two coil packs over now. Okay, I swapped over the coil pack. This is the one that was originally on number two. So I'm just putting it in to number one to see whether or not it's the coil pack that's actually misbehaving and not the wiring. So if I click that in there, I'll leave that one unplugged for a moment and start her up, you should see a spark down inside the port there. And there is a spark just down inside, can't quite see it very clearly with the camera, but there is a spark in there, you can just see it now. So that tells me that the problem is this coil pack has packed up, so I'll have to order a new one and then fit it. Okay, hi, it's TC here again. Right, here's the new coil pack that I ordered. Um, not very expensive, £15 uh, online, so there's the one that's playing up. So that'll be going in the bin in a moment, so we're going to just fit the new one on and uh, start her up, try it out. 
Um, incidentally, when removing the plug, they just pull apart. Don't pull them by the leads, whatever you do. Um, what I tend to do is put a little screwdriver in, just ease it out. So, let's fit her in. Okay, there he is all back in place. With the wires all on and everything tickety-boo. So what I'm going to do now is fire it up and actually see if that's made the difference, if that's what the problem was. Okay, it was this one here. So start her up, hopefully it'll run a lot better. And there she is, running sweet as a nut again. So I'm pleased it wasn't a valve. And uh, yeah, we're all back online now. So, all I've got to do now is go and clear the OBD2 problem off the dash and put the cover back on. Okay, so I've uh, put in the new coil pack and um, I've just cleared all the fault codes that have come up because when you're working on it with all the uh, removing stuff and putting it all back on again it comes up with other faults so, but it's all cleared there's nothing showing now um, so hopefully it will stay off now and uh, on the front there's nothing showing apart from the handbrake light so that's good so that's another problem sorted that's TC here saying thank you for watching and uh, take it easy Bye.